Good morning, friend. Happy Saturday. I hope you had an amazing week. Today is currently Wednesday and it's my birthday. Such a happy day. The sun is shining. I'm 29 years old today, which I don't really know how I feel about. 30 is a big one. Everybody makes a big deal about 30, 21, 16, 18, you know, but 29 just feels like such a random number. But either way, today is a happy day. I'm so excited to be alive and to have another year of life. I can't believe I made it through 28. It was probably the craziest year of my life. But here we are. I'm 29 years old and today's going to be really fun. So I'm bringing you along with me. I'm actually headed to a coffee shop right now to get some work done and by work I mean light work because it's my birthday and I don't want to do anything crazy today. Today I'm going to go to a coffee shop and like answer some emails. And I'm actually proud of myself because I rarely make it out of the house to go work at a coffee shop. So this is a big day. Chandler and I went to dinner last night and he was asking me what my favorite memory from 28 was. And honestly, that is really hard because I feel like so many big things happened in 28. Obviously, some of my favorites were getting engaged and getting married. But aside from that, both of the trips we got to do at Disney were super fun because we met the twins on the first one. And then the weddings one was just like so unique, it can't be matched. Switzerland was definitely a highlight. And then Next Level Chef, that definitely like takes the cake but can't even be compared to getting married like they're two totally separate things dang 29 has some big shoes to fill it's also crazy that this is my last year in my 20s i was reflecting this morning and thinking about goals that i have and things i want to accomplish in my last year of being in my 20s because i believe how you leave one season determines how you start the next so i do want to be really intentional about my 29th year but honestly i don't feel like i have any really crazy big like goals and dreams. They're very similar to the ones I've already had. I feel like I have a lot of things already in progress and in motion. Definitely some new projects that I'm excited about. Stuff I'm actually working on right now that I haven't shared that I can't wait to fill you in on. The first of which will be announced on next week's vlog. So make sure you don't miss that one. It's a big one. But I feel like every year I have these really big goals and this year I find myself almost having more simple goals, which I don't think is a bad thing. One of the biggest ones is to grow in love. I was reading 1 Corinthians 13 yesterday, the famous chapter on love and it gave all these definitions for love. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love um, doesn't rejoice over unrighteousness, but celebrates the truth and doesn't keep record of wrong. And all of those things sound so noble and like wonderful, but they're so much easier said than done. And I started going down each of them one by one. And I'm like, man, I can grow in every one of these areas. And so my prayer yesterday was so simple. It's like, Lord, help me grow in love this next year. I want to enter my 30s as a person who loves better than I did in my 20s. That's one of my big ones. It looks like it's gonna rain, which is kind of sad, but also kind of cozy. We are gonna package some of my Nomad Bowl orders because today I'm doing the first ever flash sale. Everything, Nomad Bowls, Palm Spoons, my smoothie stickers. as a little birthday special, and I'm super excited because today all of the orders come in these really fun smoothie boxes that I have not launched yet. This is the next thing coming. Look how cute those are. Guys, I cannot wait to start packaging my orders in these, but I haven't released them yet, and so today is just like a special little offer for any order placed on my birthday they're gonna come in these and then these will be coming really soon but by the time you're watching this the sale will still be going on because I'm carrying it all the way through Memorial Day so if you want to get a nomad bowl or a palm spoon or my smoothie sticker pack at 22% off this sale will be going today Sunday and Monday so hop on that there's a link down in the description box below and I've had a bunch of orders come through today which makes me so happy so we're gonna put a few of these together get a little behind the scenes of the cola nomad factory right now y'all this is not as fancy as what it might look on social media i don't have a factory of workers or a bunch of employees i literally usually sit here on the floor and then package these orders up and neither chandler or me will take trips to the post office every day so we can ship them out humble little beginnings of a small business and it truly means so much to me that y'all even order these things so it's been so fun ever since we launched gosh in september i think it was that we launched the bulls wanted to kind of take it slow make sure we knew what we were doing but it's been so fun I knew nothing about e-commerce when I first started doing all of this. So definitely learning a lot. 
put a little sticker on here. Comment down below if you have a Nomad Bowl or if you want one or any other products you'd like to see in this line. I have a couple ideas for a coconut bowl coming that has a design on the side. I showed you guys on Instagram. You all seem to really like them. So that might be coming down the pipeline soon. Then every box gets a little thank you note signed by me, a coconut bowl care card, and then one of my favorite smoothie bowl recipes and a sticker. Oh, and also the special thing about the orders from this week are that they also come with a little mini palm teaspoon. Let me unwrap this one so you can see. Look at, they're so tiny and cute. When I was testing my spoons, these ones came and they were definitely the wrong size. So they were kind of a mistake order, but now I have a bunch of them and I just think they're so fun. So I'm gonna add them in as little freebies for these orders. And that's it. Tape it closed. There we go. All right, it's almost party time. We are setting up some decorations. We got a let's eat cake. Little banner. Chandler's blowing up some balloons. Oh, that one's cute. <laughs> got another fun little one here. Well, ooh, is this the cake? Oh my gosh. We can barely see it through this box, but that's so cute. We had a special flower delivery. Got some more fun stuff up there and a nice big open kind of shop. I don't know if I told you guys, we're having board night. So everybody's bringing a different kind of board. I've seen this on TikTok for years and I've always wanted to do it. A chip and dip board, a sushi board. I think we have a Chick-fil-A board. Chandler, is anyone bringing like a normal charcuterie board or are they all like weird boards? I don't even think we're gonna have a single charcuterie board, but that's okay. And then we're gonna play board games all night long. And there's a major thunderstorm happening outside. It's like pouring down rain. So this is the perfect thing to do on a cozy rainy night in. I got the cake out of the box. Look at this cute cake. Look at how cute this is. Oh my goodness. I think this is my favorite birthday cake I've ever had. The babies. <laughs> Hi, Jay. Ooh, what are y'all making? <laughs> Doing a little fruit board. Ooh. Oh, I, I didn't make this. This is the Lord. <laughs> what board are you making, Kate? Mexican board. Oh, we got yes. Some that looks amazing. <laughs> that looks so good. Oh, Jay with the donuts. Every time. <laughs> Every time. Always. Molly, this creation right now is it's coming it's out coming really together. beautifully. Happy birthday to you. Turned 92. The best birthday ever. That cake was so good. Also, you guys, Chandler just surprised me with a trip to New York in a couple of weeks, and I'm so excited. We're going with our friends Tanner and Tegan, Stop which is gonna. Which is gonna make it more fun because we haven't really traveled with friends before. I think this is our first time. So stay tuned for our weekend in New York. I'm officially an old fart and I'm starting to feel it because I'm really tired, so. I hope that this vlog made you smile. Thank you so much for making my birthday so sweet. If it did, please give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below so that you can join the family and turn your post notifications on right now because next week we have a really special announcement. Saturday morning the video will drop and we're so excited. So we'll see you then. Bye.